Hello, everybody. What's up? Today, we are going to be doing stone painting. Before we get started on this activity, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and leave a comment and leave a like. Okay. So this is my first rock painting that I did. It's, um, so it's like a river with some, like, uh, grass and trees, as you could see, like, a really beautiful, and then it's the sky, and then the sun. On the back, is it got ruined while I was making it, because this is nothing but this, the stone color, so it looks kind of weird in real life, but it isn't, so I just wrote my name, but it kind of got there, like, it just went bad here, so yeah. Anyways, this is my landscape. So we are going to be show. Um, well, I'm going to be showing you the next one. This is my next rock painting. I used paint pens for this one because I thought like, um, well, you know, I wanted to do something like cartoony and like fun. So I drew um like a really cool. Like, I don't know how to say what it is, but like it's just some kind of like swirly thing. It's really cool. Then, so this one, it's a, it's also a painting, but I didn't finish it, and it turned out to be really bad. So, I didn't know what to do, and I just left it like that. But I think I'm gonna repaint this later on, and it's a heart shape, so I'm really lucky. I actually just found it. Um, on the sidewalks, well, in my neighborhood, basically, and um, it's just. A heart. And another coincidence, I have another heart stone. So this was in a trip we went, well, it's not really a trip, but like, we were going to be visiting the place, Garden of the Gods, and then we saw like rocks, like red rocks, like it looked like Mars rocks almost, was the color of it. And I found this uh, color, like this rock um in the garden of the gods and it was a heart shape so it's really cool and i painted the garden of the god mountains with a little sun and a it's basically another landscape so yeah <laughs> all right so for this uh painting uh we're doing like a really cool moon like setting um, I don't know if you could understand what I'm saying, but we are going to be covering this in, for, well, if you also are doing it with me, then what you're going to do is you're going to pick a rock or you could go buy one. So, um, I found this one. I found all of them actually. Um, we just have like the sidewalk place where like we have like tons of big rocks and I thought I should take this one because I'm going to make my painting huge. Now... <laughs> Let's get started. But before you start, you are going to go ahead and wash it carefully and really neat. Or else it won't be good. It will be just dirty and disgusting. So make sure to wash it carefully. Well, run it under the warm water and then to put some soap on it and then scrub it a little bit so it could be all neat and good. And then after that, you just may dry it up and wait for a day at least. Or you could just start painting. Okay, let's get our art supplies ready. Okay, guys, what's up? All right, let's... So I put... I set out my things here. So I have my paint, I have my rock, and I... So what I did was I put all my rocks around because um, I wanted to, like... Well, it... So you see this base right here? Like, I wanted to protect the carpet, so I put something, and it keeps on flying away, so I put rocks. So remember, you could use these rocks as paperweight, or you could just use them as decoration, so don't worry. All right. So, I have my I have my paintbrushes right here. Let's take one out. I'm using the biggest one right now for for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some paint and I'm gonna you must paint this whole thing white first so that it could be all good and uh, secure. Well, not secure, but like you know, ready to be painted on because this base coat is really good and helpful. So, so let's do that. And, boom. Okay, so, yeah, so I finished painting. 
So far, so good. So, um, I'm going to have to do another coating because, of course, it is not gold, well, you know. It's, you can still see, like, um, marks and everything, so I thought I should do it. You don't need to if you don't want to. This coat is enough because we're going to put a lot of paint anyways. So, like, you don't even need to worry. Okay. Now, it's kind of secure and all good. I'm going to brush this off from white. Uh, this cup. Almost looks like milk. Okay, all the white is gone now, so let's just put this aside. And now, so um, I'm gonna be doing some like a big uh, galaxy, like moon type thing. So if you don't understand, we'll continue watching this video to find out. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a really light darkish blue. So let's see. Um, I can't decide because I have some blues which almost look the exact color but uh, also not. So I'm going to have to make some colors in this process of painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a really light blue like this and I'm going to cover all the side of here. All good. I'm going to have to go with another coating because that was not enough I think. It doesn't need to be that light because it needs to look a little like purple-ish as I'm planning on. And also, I found this picture on an app because I couldn't find my own ideas. And I was like, this is really good, so I must try it out. And, yeah. So then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, while it's still like not too dry, I'm going to mix it with some like lavender color to make it a little like, um, a little like purple like that on this side. And I'm going to mix it up. Okay. Okay, look at that. That looks beautiful. Oh. Um, so like that. Um So since we got our original color, I'm going to have to let it dry because um if I don't let it dry, it's just going to not blend in correctly and I won't be well, So I need to add white onto the this part and um and in that case, I need it to like stay and not blend in with the white. So I need to like I, I can't really add the paint yet until it dries, so yeah. Okay guys, it has, um, it has dried up and I want to add it in my white now. So let's do that. Wait, I need to kind of wash the color out because like I don't want it to, well the white to look a little bluish. Actually, I don't even need to use the blue one anymore because we're gonna get, out a different paintbrush this is a little bit longer so it's kind of perfect to add some white touches right here um yeah let's take some light then so white touches Just a little water to activate it to kind of like blend in with the color. Okay. Doing that right now. If you add way too much water, you know what probably would happen? It just gets all runny, and um, you could see like highlights of the um, the rock, like it did to me right now, because it just there's like some blackish grayish features around. It. Blend it a little bit to get it ready. Okay. That way it's a little bit. Okay. Okay. So 
Now that I got my highlight in, what we are going to do is we're going to take some purple. I'm going to kind of blend it in because it just lost its color. You don't need to do this, of course, if it didn't do for you. But we still need the purple, so don't take it away from your hand. What you are going to do with the purple is you are going to add... You can add some highlight of purple right there. It has to be dark. Well, not too dark, okay? Look at that, it's beautiful. Am I right? Okay. So we got in that done. So I'm gonna wait it for it to dry. I'm gonna add some touch-ups for this because it was way too purple. I'm gonna get some color out, add some in. Wait, does it look lavender? Oh no. Did I add the wrong color? Something I'm gonna get mixed up. Look okay, beautiful. Now that we're done with that, let's just leave that alone. I would say you should add a bit of white highlights because like I think it just didn't come out for me that good. If did if it did for you, good job, great. I'm just gonna fix mine up though. This rock painting is also in Pinterest. If you want to check it out in real life how it looks like. Of course you're seeing the painted but it's still Okay, we are done with that. Beauty. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush off a little bit because we're gonna add some different colors. Okay. What I'm gonna do is this time, I am gonna be going, going to add a little orange color. So, which color you would need? Um, so I'm using this color so yeah that color is what you would need and I'm gonna take some out you won't so yeah I'm gonna take it and go Kind of blend it in a little bit. Okay, beautiful. And uh, we're just gonna blend it in a little if you can. Great. Add some purple. And then blend it in just a Okay. We are done at that situation. So let that let that dry for a bit. So we could we could get back and make sure it has to be like smudges, not like you're doing a line. So I need to fix mine because it didn't come out too good. So this rock painting is really cool. Um, the original one is in Pinterest, like I said, and I'm gonna be doing mine a little differently than theirs. And I'm, I'm gonna be adding some blue, oh no, not pink, pink. Okay, pink. 
is out. Nope. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, can't find the exact color of what I wanted, but we're gonna go with this a little light, darker pink, like that. Oh my gosh. My brush must be still like wet or something. It's not getting a color. Okay. Okay. Okay, so after that, what I'm gonna do is, um, we're gonna try making a little lighter because I don't exactly like that shade. So we are going to be doing a little touch-ups right here. I'm using a little lighter orange. Okay, blend it in a little bit. It looks like it's all blended in. A little goody. Now what I'm gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and add a little darker pink on this side. Okay. Okay, try and blend in a little bit. Okay, so we're done with that. Now that we have gotten that, what we're gonna do is um, I'm thinking to add a little bit white highlights here. So let's just do that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take a little blue-ish, no, turquoise-like color. I don't know if it's the right one. 
this is a little different from the other one, like I said. Okay, so. In this painting, it, this color, because I think it's really pretty. I do actually also have the other color that they painted. But I just can't, I don't, I want it to be a little different. So, yeah. I am trying to dry this paint off and trying to blend it with the stone for some reason. I don't know, I think it looks really cool like that. But we would actually need that space for something else, so yeah. I'm going to add in a little bit of blue just to make a little different color because I don't, it's just a little, I think, um, I think it's just a way too dark for that color and it doesn't look exactly right, so I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And I'm going to, and what I'm going to do is, you know, this color, yeah, it's more like it. And I'm gonna add white highlights to make it look good. Should I do a galaxy color tone? So yeah. Oh whoa, it didn't dry. Someone has fallen under what? We'll just, we'll make that better after it dries a little bit. Good. So, I have gotten to pink. I'm going to have to go back to right here because I didn't blend that in good. And it's kind of weird in the camera. So, I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean. And, um, I, yeah, let's do that quickly. What I'm doing is I'm going to take a really cool lavender color. Oh, whoops, I got a different color. Hey, lavender. And I'm going to do this first. Okay. Nope. Let's take blue instead. Let's blend that in. Perfect. Look at that. That looks really beautiful. Okay. So after that, this has actually dried while I touched uh, touch ups on there. So I'm gonna take go back with the white, but I'm using a little different tone. Okay. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm gonna I'm going the clouds around. Okay. 
got to think of it. It's almost... It's kind of blocking the pink, so I'm going to have to make it out a little bit. So let's just take quickly take some pink and then blend it in again. Blend it. We must blend this a lot so that it's, you know, um, it's all good. Tried my best and I got it could, but it's not as perfect, but that's okay. I think it looks really cool. All right, time to put our next color right here. So let's do that. For this color, we are going to be taking a dark, dark blue color. Let's So it looks like Okay. Adding some top chops now. Touch up, touch up, touch up, and touch up. Come to think of it, um, I think it looks super cool so far. I don't know if you could see that in the camera. Not as good as I could see it in here, like in real life. So, yeah. So let's just do that, and I'm gonna wipe. So let's wait for this to dry. Beautiful. All right. So gonna add this one because this one is a little lighter than normal. Okay, I know that you could see trees right there. Okay, so as it was drying, I thought I forgot about the fun. I don't know why, but like, okay. So instead of this, um. Or doing something else, so like I know you see trees, but I'm gonna cover them up with white, and we're gonna do like this beautiful ocean, and I'm gonna do like a so galaxy like night, and then you're gonna see like a tide coming, and I'll show you how you do that. So you're gonna take a little a thin like brush, you're gonna take this kind of brush, thick one, a little one, and then a really thin one. You're gonna use these both. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some white first. So let me do that. Okay, got some white. Then, oh, whoops, one second. All right, so uh, you even if you didn't do the trees, or you don't, you're not even gonna do the trees actually. What you instead are gonna do is you are just gonna make a good, beautiful tide. Okay. Okay, so let's just do that. Sit there. And can a lot of paint, so I know all the painting that you did before is kind of wasting up, but that's how it is, guys. I'm sorry, but it's going to turn out really good after, though. I promise. So as I just continue this process. Okay, so now that we did this beautiful like tide wave like thing, we may just kind of, you know, cover up. 
you don't you don't actually make need to make this big but since i drew the trees it kind of made a mistake there so i had to make it this big but you don't need to at all Let's take some paint and what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna quickly hold it right here. I'm gonna cover this up. You also have a little surprise in this video, so yeah. Also for the really like big sounds because um well it's not just music but I'm pretty sure you could hear some other like the wind sound or something. So yeah. I am just gonna quickly add that white in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oh no, some came on my hand. It's okay though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little a pastel-ish blue. This is a light blue. I'm not using sky blue though, so don't be confused. I know it looks like sky blue though. Adding it and trying to blending it, but I'm not gonna add the whole thing blue, just a little bit. Oh, I don't actually don't know if it's supposed to be called a little bit or a lot. At this point, you could add as how much blue you want. I'm adding as much as I want because, well, I don't, well, um, you want it to be darker and, you know, bright in this case. Just doing that. I'm going to quickly wipe this off in a tissue. And then I'm going to blend it. So the blue doesn't take over. Okay? You don't just do that. Just wipe it off a tissue first. You could even go ahead and wash this up with water and take that paintbrush and use the water to blend it in a little bit because that actually sure does look a little better. Okay, beautiful. So, um, I'm gonna add a little different color right here. I'm just adding some top drops so you don't have to do that. Now what you are gonna do is you're gonna take a thin brush now. And take a dark blue. This color is what I'm using, whoops. So you're going to do this, you're going to outline this beauty, dark blue, like that.
Okay. What am I doing? Well, so I am doing the like, waves with this blue. And then after a while, I'm like rising it up like this. So, I mean, you could pretty much see that. I'm still saying it. If you don't understand what I'm doing. Or you don't get the process of what I'm doing exactly. Doesn't really make any difference, but sure it does add some really good details. Beauty. Okay. Adding just some touches and you know. I don't want my water to be like that much of a detail y like texture or I don't know. I don't know whatever you say. And then I'm gonna add some highlights of water of this uh, uh, well actually I'm gonna take some dark color, a dark blue. So as you could see right here, how I did that water. I first took what like colors. Well, I took a dark blue and then I kind of made this highlights to make it look like water. I'm kind of doing the same thing here and this, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna blend it in to make it a little lighter. So not really. Cause I'm just kind of changing the color of the water a little bit on the You know, I'm gonna exchange brushes now. I'm gonna take the bigger one. Wow, beautiful, wow. <laughs> Let's take some water and we'll wash this off. Mix that soup. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is just wait for it to dry for a bit so we can add some white palettes. Okay, it dried a bit so that now we could add some highlights.
Well, it's kind of good now. Am I right, guys? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Right, 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 right. Okay. Now that we added uh, highlights and like everything that looks kind of more like water now, we may put this aside and add a little, little like dark blue or no, 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 light, light blue. Using my thin brush, we kind of dried up so it's a little easy to use. Actually, no, never mind. If you're wondering, am I even using the same color, white, or, um, or uh, if you're wondering if I'm using a color and I'm just using white, no, I'm actually using a color. Here, let me show you. Wait. Can't really see. Wait. Right there. Right there. I don't know if you could see. It's not focusing right. But that's okay. The teal blue color. Yeah, you could see it on the rock. Okay, now that I did that, we're gonna have some like beautiful surf like thing. So I'll show you what that means and what I exactly mean because you probably don't understand. So I'm taping some of this. Wait one second. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm trying to make my brush a little frizzier so I could use it. Okay, perfect. Dip and. You're gonna do this. We're gonna go all around it. Remember to show me what, how yours looks like in the comments below. We're done here. That looks really beautiful. Um, now what we could do is, I'm just trying to kind of get it a little bit good. So this is a little different. So you got to let this kind of dry before doing this. But, so it basically it's a galaxy like color. So what you're going to do is I'm going to add a moon right here. Just half moon. Okay, that did not come out good. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make it into full moon. Beauty, 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 that's really good. I'm part of myself right now. Although I never really paint on rocks and that good. Okay. Looks great. <laughs> so what you're gonna do next is I'm gonna add some like stars. So like, I'm gonna add dots, but before that, this color isn't that bright, so I'm gonna add the same color a little darker this time. I was just standing on this with a yeah. And to make it better, I'm adding a little different blue here. Or should I say pink? Just kidding. I don't know why I thought to do that. Um, just came out of my mind. I was like, yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to blend this in. Okay, looks good. So far, so good.
Okay, now we can actually do the stars because this is dried and good. Except for this one, I just need to wait on that, but that's okay. We could just continue and do the other one. So I'm taking my print brush and adding dots, bigger dots, small dots. Actually, you know what? You could actually, let's not do this. I'm gonna raise that by using my finger. So, if your parents don't let you, because this is a really troublesome activity, because you know, it gets all over the hands. Like, you can do that. <laughs> and all your pants are everywhere. What I'm doing is, um, so I'm taking some white in the pan. Wait, no, 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 I got it wrong. Wait, 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 one second. We're just dip it in the water like this so you could get watery. And then take white, mix this white up a bit, whatever you're using, and dip it in the water. So that, and then let's try. You might skip this part since it's a lot of noise. Wait. Okay, you can't see that? Good. Oh, no, I got all of my hands. Let's do the same thing. What you're going to do, dip it in your paint. Like that. Wait. This. And then dip it in the water. Now it should be watery. Okay. Now what you're going to do is... This is super good. Wait, I don't know, actually. No. That's much better. Okay, so it's so far good. I'm trying to get it to kind of splat over, but it's not working. All right, guys. Oh, well, that was. Good. That is how it looks like. Wow. So I was thinking to add a little glow. So I'll tell you how I'm doing that. So let's just put it back into place first. Okay. And thinking to. Take them yellow and put it on this moon. Okay. Of course, you're expecting me to blend it in. Nothing it too much because I want the yellow to stay and not like go into the blue too much. Or I don't want it to like be the opposite. Like, what is that? Weird. Well, guess what? Does it look good? I hope it does. Actually, wonder if it looks good if I add stars that are also golden. So I'm gonna try that. But this time I'm just gonna do it by hand and not like sprinkle it because it just came all over my hand last, last time. So I'm gonna go here. One, two. This is super beautiful. Oh, okay, oh, whoops, that was 
big. What was that? Okay. So, this is my final thing. Wow. It, it looks really cool, I think. Those bright colors. Like I said, there was going to be a surprise. So, here you go. <laughs> Basically, I know you can't really see it as well um, as I want it to be. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't know how to explain it. Well, this is my uh, front piece. It's the back. So actually, I did this yesterday because I was like... Um, I couldn't wait. I just wanted to just paint and, you know, hurry up and just wanted to do it. But I was just planning to do it today. But the thing is, I was way too hurry, Murray. And I just ended up painting. These are some clouds and, like, you know. So, yeah. This is sun. I'm, I was thinking to add some grass here. Right here and then. Make it look like it's big and huge. You know, a close-up of it. But I think this is much better. Real life, I like it so much. So before, so what you're going to do is um, you would need some kind of spray to secure um, your painting. And, and what I'm going to be using for... To be secure, um, here, let's, let me show you. I am willing to use this. It is a, elk, well, I don't know, Patricia played Patricia Nimox or whatever. Well, it's a clear acrylic sear, acrylic, acrylic sealer. So all you can do is just spray on it and just let it dry and it's going to be all sticky. So let's do that Okay. Hope it is good. Okay, so after doing that, you need to wait and not move it so that it just dries. Because, like, if it doesn't, then it's going to get all sticky all over here, and then the paint will, painting will be ruined. So if I put too much, then, whoops. I'm just going to... I am pretty sure that the uh so basically when you spray the this thing is gonna be all shiny after and i don't know if you could see but it's kind of sticking and oh gosh i think i should put this down but yeah i'm just showing it to you how it looks like so no worries we're just gonna set it outside and wait for it to dry okay guys Ta -da, it's dried it's beautiful, shiny and secure. Did I just, oh no, I'm like. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Well, I hope you like my video of rock painting. Well, send me an image of how you, what, what, what rock painting you did. I hope you like my video. And be nice to each other. Bye. I will see you tomorrow. Or, I mean, later. <laughs> Bye.